It takes nothing to join the crowd, it takes everything to stand alone. Forces. Look at the world then, look into my eyes Crit of the grave, non-stop lies Non-stop lies from the top to the bottom Luminati's popping lies with the pyramids right Alright, well enough of the kind of heavy stuff Well, most of it anyway uh, Because Let's sort this bloody thing out uh, Awaken Awaken Get off We've been on a journey, the human race, from here to here. That's why we got into this mess. We just need to make the journey back, and it's a choice. And it all comes from that. Knowing how we respond, knowing what, what uh, through insight, what's happening, how we should respond to what's happening, all comes from here, because it's innate intelligence beyond the bounds of time and space, beyond the matrix. This is the way home, and this is why they work so hard to block this passage back home. And we need to make that journey back um, to the, the true nature of who we are, beyond time and space, into the levels where we are pure awareness. The idea at that level that we have no power is ludicrous, which is why they have to do what they've done. Because trying to manipulate and control a human race in awareness of itself, don't even bother. And they do it through fear. The four letter word that controls the word. world. fear is a liar. What is there to fear? A great friend of mine, Moni, who's come over from America, first time out of America to this event today, uh, she calls fear false emotion appearing real. And one of the great illusions, one of the great illusions is fear. No more fear. That's how we got into this situation. No more fear. No more fear, come on. If you can't laugh at uh, insanity, you become insane. No more fear. Look at them. I wish it was a joke. It's not. It's real. Now, this is a wonderful quote. Martin Luther King, he had many, of course, but this is a fantastic quote. You may be 38 years old, and I, as I happen to be, and one day some great opportunity stands before you and calls you to stand up for some great principle, some great issue, some great cause. And you refuse to do it because you are afraid. You refuse to do it because you want to live longer. You're afraid that you will lose your job, or you're afraid that you will be criticised, or that you will lose your popularity, or you're afraid that someone will stab you, or shoot you, or bomb your house, so you refuse to take the stand. Well, you may go on and live until you are 90, but you're still just as dead at 38 as you would be at 90, and the succession of breathing in your life is but the belief of the earlier death of the spirit. uncomfortable, when is it unpopular, even when it is dangerous to speak the truth, is precisely the time that the truth should be spoken. I choose freedom. I am all it is and ever can be. I am all possibility. I am infinite awareness, infinite consciousness, infinite the great forever. And I'm afraid of people in uniform and dark suits and rules and regulations. Are you kidding? No way. Who are these people? Who are these people with their rules and regulations and their rule book minds? And their software perceptions and software brains are, are we are we are frightened of them. People, the, the most common way people give up their power is thinking they don't have any. Well, hey, we'll see about that in the next little while. Look at it. If you go on YouTube and and, and put in uh, the tiny dot. Or worse to that effect. It's hilarious! What they do is they show the American population. This is just a bit of it, by the way. 
in relation to the number of people in government and congress, and here, this, this little bigger one, uh, the, the number of people in the internal revenue, their version of uh, the, the taxation people. I mean, look at them! If you, if you look at the people that are actually at the core in full knowing of this whole thing, it's tiny. They have to recruit from the target population. Don't panic, organize. The reason, the reason they get away with it is they divide them bloody rulers. You know, the people don't know their true power. Walk away. This is it. Oh yeah, I'm a, I've, I've, I've told this story before, but I just bloody love it. I, I went to, um, I went to, you know Larry Grayson, the comedian, shut that door, and all that stuff. Well, I went to his funeral, uh, or not his funeral, his memorial at, in Common Garden, and Roy Hutt, another uh, British comedian, he, he did this tribute to, um, to, uh, to him, and he, uh, he told this story that Larry Grayson told him, where he, he you know, he, he was going around the, this, in this all-male show, Larry Grayson, because as you know, he used to dress up as, as women in, in all-male shows and stuff. In, in, in earlier times, and he said, he was in this all-male show, and the, 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 the finale of the show was that all the men came on dressed as sailors, and they formed this, this pyramid on the stage, and um, Larry Grayson came on as Rule Britannia was playing, you know, Britannia rules the waves, what do you want to rule the wave for you, Pillow? what are you talking about, it's ludicrous, that was, it was mad, anyway, he comes on dressed as Britannia, with his shield and the helmet and the sword, gets manhandled up the top of the pyramid for the big finish. And he, you know, Larry said in the story that uh, Roy had repeated that um, he, um, one night he said things seemed to be going rather well. And then he noticed that so one of the sailors in the bottom left hand corner of the pyramid had got rather a cough. And he said, well, I was surprised. We had slept in some uh, damp beds that week, he said. Anyway, he got a cough. And this cough got worse and worse and worse. And here's this, this sailor. I've I got no power. I have just uh, do reason why. And, and, and he couldn't hold the pyramid anymore. And he stepped forward. This, this no power little man, and bang, the pyramid fell, and Larry Grayson, symbolic of this event, ended up in the second row in someone's lap. Um, and I, I, I listened to that, and I thought, but, but that's what this is, it's a house of cards, and it's only there because we're holding it together. You know, I've seen hundreds and hundreds of sheep following a shepherd and a sheepdog, hundreds of them, and the, the shepherd is authority. And the sheepdog is fear that authority delivers if you don't conform. Row, row, row. And you look at it, and all these hundreds of sheep are just following the one in front and succumbing to fear. Now, it wouldn't take anything like all of them. It would take nothing like half of them. It would take just a significant number of these sheep to go, do you know something, mate? I'm fed up of fire. Every day, every day, we come out of that field and we walk through this bloody street and we go into these... Be I've never been down that street. I wonder what, I've always wondered what's down here. I'm going down. I'm up in the north. I'm going down. Do you know something? I've never been down here. I'm going down here. In no time, just by a few of them saying, I ain't conforming anymore. I ain't giving me power away anymore. I'm not letting you tell me what I am and what I do anymore. This authority figure, yeah, he's looking around going, what do we do? What do we do? Because they've got no power. Because the sheep are going off in all different directions and are not conforming. And when the sheep dog comes round, row, 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 oh, God, by bonus of me. I'm not frightened, I'm not frightened of you, okay? Go away. You have no power over me. And thus, this mass of sheep conformity, herd like conformity, controlled by a shepherd and a sheep dog, suddenly they cannot control them. The system cannot control them because this only works if this follows that without question. And that's what the human race has been doing for generation and generation. The sheep breeding season is over. The human race. So, so where now? Well, we can keep going as we are. Are these silly sods in their silly bloody uniforms and funny hats? They, they, they await us uh, on that line, or we can awaken and change reality to the point where we don't any longer, uh, are no longer heading for this fascist global state, which is just something that is happening because we're not uh, challenging it. Uh, we can first of all um, turn off the microwave for the mind called the television and only put it on when it serves us and not 
goggle box it so we're serving it. When we're watching television, we go into brainwave states that are pretty much the same as a hypnotic state, uh, and we can stop making excuses. Oh, I'd like to do something, but there's an R in the month. Uh, and, and, and well, I didn't know it was happening. That is not an excuse anymore. No, it, it was an excuse. Oh, so I, I would have done something, but I didn't know. Not anymore. The information is there. Anyone that doesn't look at it is choosing not to look at it. So that's not an excuse anymore. We stop conforming to the blueprint, which is being provided for us on a waveform level to decode through into our own imprisonment. You know, this, this archontic force is, has no creative imagination. It can only distort what already exists. Thus, they cannot create the world of Orwell. They have to manipulate us to create it. And what they're doing all the time, and a lot of this stuff in the movies, which are feeding you what they want to happen, look at all the movies over the last like decade or so, more and more now all the time, that are portraying this very police state and this very Orwellian fascist uh, uh, Gender 21 world that I've been talking about. They're doing that for a reason. It's to implant that in the subconscious so it becomes reality through humans' uh, creative imagination. They have to get us to do it. Number one, the fascist global state is not coming because we're not freaking having it anymore. <laughs> We are not any longer going to be manipulated into manifesting our own enslavement. And when they tell us to be quiet, we shout bloody louder. Silence is consent. Can you hear us now? If you want to be free, then don't run and hide. This is a time for looking the world in the bloody eye. Together. Coming together. Strength does not come from physical capacity, it comes from indomitable will, Mahatma Gandhi. And that will, that will says we are not having it anymore. Human race, get off your knees. What are you doing down there? Hey! All these reasons we get on our knees. Oh, God, and all bloody hell. You're, you, all that exists, all imagination, all possibility, all that is, has been, and ever can be, what are you on your freaking knees to? Yourself. Ridiculous. Come on. Get off your knees. Look at the dynamics. Look at the numbers. It can only happen because we allow ourselves to be divided and ruled. Divided and ruled through our contic religions under different names. Divided and ruled by the ludicrous fault lines of race and culture. Celebrate your race, celebrate your culture. But it's an experience, we're all one. Divided and ruled by the ludicrous Liberal, Democrat, Labour, Conservative, Republican, bollocks. Masks on the same face. Rich and poor, all these bloody things. And there's another divide and rule that people forget about. Me, me, me. What divides me, me, me from everything else is I'll only do what I think is right for me, me, me in the circumstances that I face. Why don't we start uh, uh, responding and reacting to situations on the basis of what is right and what is just and what is fair in that situation for all concerned rather than what is right for me, me, me. I say this, what are you doing, you people in science? who are developing every day more efficient ways of killing your fellow humanity and poisoning them even ever more efficiently. What are you doing? You have children. You have grandchildren. You are destroying their world. Look in the eyes of your children, grandchildren, and tell them you can justify that. Why are you doing it? Because of me, me, me. 
my job, my money, my career. What about your humanity? What about your...